In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a couple of more complex Dragon commands. These use the same principle that we've used in the last couple of videos of using a Dragon command to drop or insert several scribe commands into scribe. These can then be edited if needed and then inserted into the note. In the first example, I have a basically empty note. I've seen this patient and I have diagnosed them with strep throat and I want to use my strep throat template. I also want to verify and pull in all of my medical history at the same time. So I have a dragon command that does this. Strep throat note. What I just did was used a dragon command called strep throat note and it did the following. It inserted this dragon command called use template GMC strep throat. Now use template is a dragon command that tells it to use a template and the name of the template is what follows. In this case GMC strep throat. If you look over here in my favorite template section you can see GMC strep throat is right there. So this command is to use a template with that name. That means you have to have a template by that name or whatever name you choose already existing in your eClinical Works installation. Of course you can create templates with whatever name you want so you can then put them into this command. Along with this there's the commands we've seen before, the import all history, several commands to verify history as well. Now when I click scribe it, it's going to do a couple of things. First of all, it pulled in my history, like my hypertension here, and notice it marked my boxes verified. There's my surgical and hospitalization history, all marked verified, all pulled into the note. Along with that, it pulled in my template for strep throat. My strep throat template pulls in this fairly typical strep throat note. Since this is a structured data template, I can click on it and change the pertinent findings. For example, it may have started with the symptoms yesterday and the symptoms are severe and they have been exposed to strep throat. When I click OK, those new changes are reflected here. Scrolling down, all of this is information that was pulled in from prior history. This is a review of systems which is part of the strep throat template. This is an examination part of the strep throat template. In this case, the salient points are that the tonsils are red and swollen with exudate, about what you'd expect for a strep throat. Of course, if you have a patient who doesn't have tonsils, you better go in and change this or you're incorrectly documenting. It gives the assessment of strep throat, in this case with an ICD-10 code as required, and a little bit of discussion about strep throat. Down here in the treatment, it also gives my typical discussion that I give to most patients about strep throat. The only thing I don't have in this template is a medication prescription. I could put one in if I wanted, but I don't recommend doing it because there's a chance that the medication I have in my template might be one that a particular patient's allergic to and now I've inadvertently prescribed it to them. Also, my strep throat template does not have a strep test in it because in my workflow my medical assistant has already gone in and seen the patient and done a strep throat test and documented it in the note before I even go in and see them. If you want your template can also include a visit code as well. So that's one demonstration of how to use a more complex dragon command. I'm going to go to one more patient. In this case we'll go to Spider-Man. And here's another basically empty note. There's really not much in there. A little bit of leftover stuff from prior studies. In this case, I'm going to diagnose a urinary tract infection and I have a template for this, which is called GMC UTI note. Now I'm going to show you this time what the command looks like in Dragon. So we'll open the command browser with the Dragon command. Open command browser. The command browser opens and here you can see some of my custom user defined commands. In this case here is UTI note. If we double click on it we can see the name is UTI note. That's what I have to say to get Dragon to insert this text. The text is right here. 
This looks very similar to my strep throat note, except that it has the name of a different template. We're going to use the template called GMC UTI note. Everything else is about the same. So we go back to Dragon, and we give that command. UTI note. And here you can see it inserted all of the Dragon custom command ready to go with these scribe commands. If I needed to add something additional, I could also do it using the same type of commands. HPI. The patient also complains of an upset stomach and a rash that has shown up, period. They have had this a few times in the past, period. I added this just to demonstrate that free text could be done at the same time using the other scribe techniques we've discussed in previous visits. I'm going to click scribe it. And now I'll open the whole progress note to see it better. Here's my structured data part of my UTI note and template. Again, like I showed in the strep throat, I could click on here. I could change the parts that do or don't apply and click OK. And those changes are updated here. Notice that the free text that I added with Scribe is added down here in the constitutional section, so I'm not limited by just what's in the template. I can free text anything I want. It pulled forward the patient's medical history and it marked the different history sections verified. My review of systems is here and this is part of the UTI template. Now notice in this case the template includes a section about denying rash, but I said the patient was also complaining of a rash, so that's something that I would need to remove. Again, templates can be very powerful in pulling in a lot of information, but you'd better know what's in them so you don't pull in something that's contradictory to another part of your note. Here is my examination for a typical UTI note, which is basically normal except for a little bit of suprapubic tenderness. Here's the diagnosis, acute cystitis without hematuria, because ICD-10 makes you distinguish between with or without hematuria. A little discussion here, a little more discussion here for the patient. Again, the only thing missing is the results of your analysis, and I don't have this part of my template because my medical assistant has already done this and documented it before I come in. So with a real patient, it would already be existing. These have been two examples of a more detailed Dragon custom command that you can create. These commands can add or insert templates. They can import data. They can verify the history components. There are many other things that they can do which we may discuss in a future video such as searching for and adding assessments, adding E&M and billing codes, and ordering labs, diagnostic imaging, and procedures. But that's it for now on this video. I hope you found it helpful.